Hey guys, quick tech tip today. We're going to review changing a SOLIDWORKS license on a computer with SOLIDWORKS already installed on it. Okay, so why would you want to do this? Well, there's three main reasons why you'd want to change your SOLIDWORKS license on a current installation. The first is if you recently purchased a SOLIDWORKS license but used a trial license as part of the evaluation process and need to change from your temporary license to the permanent one provided to you by MLC CAD systems. If you open up SOLIDWORKS after you've made the purchase and you see a warning that says your license is expired, the install may be referencing this old trial license number that needs to be swapped out. The second is when you change versions of SOLIDWORKS. For example, if you have SOLIDWORKS standard installed but update to SOLIDWORKS premium and need the premium license to unlock these premium features. The third is if you have a very old version of SOLIDWORKS installed and purchase a new license to get the latest version of SOLIDWORKS. In some cases it may be necessary to update your license on the current installation before you can run the installation manager for the new version. If this is the case you'll see an error when running the installation manager on your new version of SOLIDWORKS that says your license of SOLIDWORKS is not entitled to the version that you're trying to install. If you see this, it's most likely time to swap out your license. All right, so here we go. It all starts here in the control panel. Under Programs and Features, you'll see a list of all the programs installed on your computer. Navigate to SOLIDWORKS on this list, right-click, and select Change. This will pull up the SOLIDWORKS Installation Manager. On the first page of the Installation Manager, you're going to select Modify Your Installation. The next page will allow you to change out your license number. Delete your old number, copy in the new one, and follow the prompts to the Summary page. Accept the Terms of Use for SOLIDWORKS and select Modify to finish the change. Guys, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, hit the subscribe button down below to be kept up to date with the latest in SOLIDWORKS news from MLC CAD Systems. If you have any questions about getting the most out of your investment in SOLIDWORKS, reach out to your local MLC CAD Systems representative. And as always, thanks for watching.